Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Elric, here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel, bringing you guys part two of Building the Beast. What the heck is the Beast? Well, the Beast is like ultimate gaming rig. It's probably not the most ultimate gaming rig you can get in the world. I'm sure if you want to spend more money, you can just keep going forever. But this one is a beast. Now, a lot of you guys saw the video number one. Where we talked about all the parts that we put in the system. If you guys didn't see that video, be sure to click back over here and check out that video first and then bop back over here. That way you guys get a head start. Beyond that, we've up and we've built the system. The beast is built and we've got some really good things to say about it. First of all, the CPU. The Intel 3960, its base score is 3.3 gigahertz. I've got it totally overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. That took me about 45 minutes of testing to get it all stable, ran some tests, we've moved forward. So from 3.3 to 4.5 gigahertz, on the CPU. Haven't really got over to the GPU yet, that's next. But what I really wanna to talk to you guys about is the insane speeds I got on my RAID 0 OCZ drives. These are the Vertex 3, these are the Max IOPS drives. These things are kicking butt. I'm using the Intel controller that comes standard on the new Gigabyte G1 Assassin 2. This is a really great board and I've really got some great scores in it. You guys can see in the screenshot here, the transfer rates using Addo are just off the hook. Also, a lot of you guys noticed that I went over and I made some comments on the GameSpot video for their ultimate gaming machine. Well, there were really some reasons that I did this. First of all, they called SLI Sly, okay? That just to me made them sound like complete tards because there's no such thing as Sly. It just doesn't exist. Basically, you wanna take two nerds who don't know their ass from apple butter and wanna throw them on a screen and have them start spewing stuff out about a gaming machine. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to hate, but let's keep it real. A, Xeons, they're not a gaming processor. I don't care if you go out and spend a zillion dollars on a motherboard. I don't care if it's the EVGA, blah, blah, blah. Xeons are not for the desktop. They are for server environment. That's a fail right there. And showing me a gaming score of 7.1, okay, let's just stop right there. You just said this is the ultimate gaming machine. I mean, come the, I mean, come on, the ultimate gaming machine, you're gonna show me a 7.1? This machine, you guys can check it out. My Windows score is 7.8. The only reason it's not 7.9 is because the CPU has to be at 5.6 gigahertz. You can look this up yourself on the Microsoft website to get that score. So everything else across the board is 7.9 other than the CPU score, which is basically impossible. So I think this is a much more stable game machine. We've been running the machine constantly now for like the past five days. I left it on. I keep on running scores on it, running and run, regoing and checking out the temperatures. This thing is running really cool. Check out the temperature screen. I'm barely getting over 100 Fahrenheit at max temperature, even with this thing overclocked to 4.5. I wanna just take some of your dress right here. Some guy in Japan put up a video the other day saying that he fried his gigabyte motherboard by standard overclocking. Hey buddy, this is from me to you, Japan guy. You're full of shit. There's no way that you fried that motherboard doing standard overclockings. A, you don't show any of your settings whatsoever in the video at all. You just walk away and then all of a sudden the board's on fire. Sure, if I put everything oh no. up on my motherboard to its maximum, I can fry it too. But with standard overclocking, that would never happen. But Gigabyte, basically running scared for the lives of such negative publicity has gone and created a whole new BIOS which actually kind of screws us as overclockers because now it has a throttle on it. So now simple mistakes like that can't be made. Don't mean to get into just a little video, but these are just crazy things that I've been hearing lately. Nut stuff. One other thing I actually did in this video though, is I went ahead and I use this thing called OCCT. This is how I actually got the system to show the overclock score. On all of these new motherboards and stuff, if you just go into the BIOS and change the overclocking and bounce into the Windows environment, you're not gonna actually see the score overclock. You actually have to stress the computer out to see your overclock. You guys can see from my OCCT screenshots here, 4.5, completely stable, nice temperatures. So the last thing I did though, was I went and I ran 3D Mark. Now I ran 3D Mark at its ultimate extreme level. You guys can see that also in these screenshots here. I got a pretty good score with that. My score was X2123, but it's not letting me compare scores to other people online because it says that my video card driver is not on par. Well, I tried to install the 260.29 driver that they're asking me to, and my Windows 64 system says, Hell no, we won't go, won't let me install the driver. 
So this is video number two. Today, I just wanted to bring you guys a overclocking of the CPU, how cool the system was running, how fast the drives are running, and my cool window score of 7.8, really should be 7.9, I think, but pfft, typical bitch anyways. So you guys see it. This is part two. Part three will be where I actually run a bunch of video card tests, overclock the video, and show you guys how that's running. So thanks for watching. So far, though, I say the Beast is one kick-ass machine. I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys back here at motherboards.org for more tech goodness.